King lived in a black house in the forest. The house was black on the outside and black on the inside. The carpets were black, the chairs were black, the bed was black and it had black sheets and black blankets. Even the bath was black. Mr. Bean lived in his black house with his black cat, Wilbur. <laughs> he was black too, and that is how the trouble began. When Wilbur sat on a chair with his eyes open, Mr. Bean could see him. He could see his eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Mr. Bean couldn't see him at all. So he sat on him. Meow. <laughs> With his eyes open, Mr. Bean could see him. Well, he could see his eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Mr. Bean couldn't see him at all. So he tripped over him. <laughs> One day, after a nasty fall, Mr. Bean decided something had to be done. He picked up his magic paintbrush, waved it once, abracadabra. Alakazoo! Presto Changeo! Wilbur was a black cat no longer. He was bright and green. Now, Wilbur slept on his chair. Mr. Bean could see him. When Wilbur slept on the floor, Mr. Bean could see him. And he could see him when he slept on the bed. However, Mr. Bean was not, I mean, Miss Wilbur was not allowed to sleep on the bed. So Mr. Bean put him outside, outside in the grass. But when Wilbur sat outside in the grass, Mr. Bean couldn't see him, even when his eyes were wide open. Mr. Bean came hurrying outside, tripped over Wilbur, turned two somersaults, and fell into a rose bush. <laughs> this time, Mr. Bean was furious. He picked up his magic paintbrush and waved it five times. Abracadabra. Yeah. <laughs> 